Today we're going to demonstrate a rear impact auto collision causing soft tissue damage and we're also going to explain the healing process of that soft tissue. And we're going to do that with virtual consultation 3D report of finding software version 12.5.1. So if we go over to the interactive 3D section here in virtual consultation we're going to bring up a set of animations and we're going to go over to the interactive 3D whiplash animation. So here we have an animation that's completely interactive, possibly the only one on the market that has a graphics engine associated with it. And we can play this animation and view it from any angle. So we're going to zoom out, we're going to take a look at the mechanics of cervical whiplash, and then we're going to zoom in and take a look at the soft tissue damage that occurs as a result. So we'll step through the animation, we'll click on play, pause right there. You can see during the rear impact auto collision, the thoracic spine is straightened out, the body's lifting upwards, the shearing forces cause this S-shaped formation in the cervical spine. We'll step through it a little bit further, hyperextension, hyperflexion, and then we can zoom right in. So if you have a touch screen computer, you can use that, pinch to zoom, uh, else you can use your mouse. So here we'll show the C4 vertebrae has slid forward. Why is that? That's because there's tearing of the facet capsule ligaments on both sides, also tearing of the posterior longitudinal ligament. If we swing it back around to the front, we can also see there's some tearing of the anterior longitudinal ligament as well, too. Now, if this particular patient comes in and let's say they are experiencing some numbness and tingling uh, in the upper part of the body there, we can go over to the dermatones chart here and match that up. So um, we'll go ahead and click on the C3 segment here, and we can see this is the pattern that's typically associated with the C3, the C4, we'll go down to C5, we can see the pattern, the numbness and tingling is starting to reach towards the hands, go down to C6, we can see it reaches the thumbs, uh, the shoulders, all the way down, uh, C7, and then we can go down to the C8 nerve as well. So that's our dermatologist chart within virtual consultation. If we go back over to the main part of the program, we can go ahead and take a look at what happens when there's soft tissue damage uh, to the ligaments in the cervical spine. So we'll click on the ligament injury animation set. And what we'll do is we'll advance this animation and we'll show an x-ray representation on the left, color 3D model on the right. We'll show that the ligament right here, this particular segment, is no longer tight. It's damaged, it may be torn a little bit. And what happens is when this patient goes into flexion, you can see hypermobility of the joint there. Likewise, if it's the anterior longitudinal ligament, as we'll show here, then when they go into extension, we'll see hypermobility of that joint as well. One other scenario that we show here as well is we'll have the head go transparent. If there's ligament damage to the upper cervical ligaments, then when the head goes to the shoulder, to the right shoulder in this case, we may show hypermobility of that upper cervical vertebrae. Now let's talk about the soft tissue healing process with the patient. So if we go over to the phases of care, click on phases of soft tissue repair, what we'll do is we'll show a timeline on the left hand side of the healing process of the ligaments. On the right hand side we're going to show where the damage occurs on the anterior longitudinal as an example and we'll go ahead and begin to advance this animation. And what we're showing here is two scenarios. So let's grab the pen again. We'll show active care versus passive care. So we're going to basically discuss how that scar tissue forms and how that healing process occurs. So we'll continue to advance the animation. We'll go in from phase one to phase two. That could be up to six weeks or so. The whole process could be 12 months or longer. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on our source here just to bring that up, uh, show that to the patient, let them know where this information comes from. But what's really important for the patient to understand is that with active care, the scar tissue will form and align with the ligament fibers during that healing process. As opposed to passive care, if the patient skips visits or doesn't get the right type of care, then you get the crosshatch pattern which consistently or continually breaks down over time. So that's the demonstration, the rear impact auto collision, the soft tissue damage, the healing process that occurs. And this is with virtual consultation version 12.5.1.